What's good, fam? How y'all boys and girls doing today? It's been a little minute since I've been back on the camera, but I might as well do a little story time for y'all. I got, what am I doing today? Oh yeah, my first varsity football game and how it changed my life. So it's gonna be a good story. I think, well, shit, I don't know. Y'all like it, y'all like it. You don't, you don't. If you do like it, hit that like button. If you do feel like you got something out of this story, go ahead and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more content coming your way. But let's go ahead and get started. So my first varsity football game, let's just get into the point where like, how did I even get to the point where I wanted to play football? So it started off in junior high school. I was like, just in the video games, that's all I wanted to do, play the game all day. You know, I was out the chain in Mario Kart, stuff like that, stuff that didn't matter because it wasn't giving me no female. So like, I was like, damn, bro. Everybody else talking about sports and stuff. So basically we started playing football and I noticed like at PE, like I was good. I could catch the ball real good. I guess all that time on the game gave me good hand-eye coordination shit, I don't know. But fast forward, I was getting in trouble in middle school going down the wrong path. My daddy took me out of school. My mom and daddy took me out of school. He actually came up to the school I was at and followed me around all day and seen I was doing a whole lot of not shit the whole day, like trying to be cool. I don't know, bro. We do some stupid stuff when we young, man. I was really trying to be cool, like on some serious type stuff. But he moved me to a school called Alabama Christian Academy. So the first day I get there, I told my mom, man, I want to play sports. I want to play football. So I get in there, I meet all these people, everybody up in there working out. I got my hat on back with a little, a white beater. A nigga ain't number, yay big. I weigh 145 pounds with a white beater on. And a hat turned back like on somebody. Who the hell I thought I was? <laughs> That's funny. I get on the football team and I got to sit out a year because I went from public school to private school. So the whole year, I'm just excited. I'm watching everybody in the game. I'm like, yeah, that gonna be me. I'm talking about, I got in my mind the next year, I'm gonna be that guy, like day one. Cause I, in practice, I was going off, man. I was doing my thing. Uh, cat, They had me like, I knew I was fast. They'd give me the ball and be like, man, just run. And they had the defense sprinting after me. So I'd take off. I knew they wanted to catch me. Just making them, I knew the defense hated me, bro. I would've hated myself. But fast forward to a year later, bro. It's time, bro. Like the year is finally coming. I'm talking about we finally finna kick off the season. Went through all this off-season stuff and everything. I didn't practice my speeches. I'm in the marathon. So this is our game. This this what we do. Y'all follow me. Y'all follow you. I, I'm talking about I didn't pray this all the way out. I'm supposed to be that guy. I didn't got all this planned out. None of that happened. Not a lick of that happened. Uh, I got in the game, bro. We was playing this game called St. Jude. i never forget. It was a kid. I'm, hold on. Y'all sorry. Y'all stay in the intersection, so it'll be a lot of stuff going on. So it was a kid named George Price that went to high school. He transferred over to St. Jude, so everybody was making a big deal of it. He got he transferred before I got there. And um, we finally get them. The game kick off and everything going back and forth. We all going back and forth. Everybody excited. I get in the game. Coach Powell called a go route for me. Now, bro, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I didn't envision me catching touchdown passes all my life. And when he get in, it's time to do it, bro. Like, it's time to go. Drop back the quarterback, hike, boom. I get out the line, my cornerback, I think it's like a cover two. Cause I get out the line, he and me, he jammed, boom, just let me go. I'm like this, oh my God, I'm wide open. I look back, and mind you, this is my first time ever trying to catch something in the game, bro. Varsity, the crowd, everybody, that I'm talking about shaking. I'm like, dang, bro, this really happening. I look back, guess what? The ball in there, coming to my ass. So I'm like, oh shit, this really finna happen. So I'm running, the ball in the air, just running, just running, the ball in, like, bro, what if I drop it? That's mistake number one, y'all. I was so anxious about making this damn catch in a game, a football game, mind you. It don't mean nothing. We playing a game. But it's something I wanted so bad that I was so afraid of failing that y'all can imagine what happened next. I see the dude who transferred from uh, ACA, George Price, coming. And I was like, damn. Then a second thought of anxiety came to mind. What if I get lit up? Now the ball in there, all this stuff happening while the ball in there, y'all. Like all these dumbass thoughts running through my mind. Like, damn, what if I get lit up? What if I drop the ball? So the ball get there, I'm running, running, and it's coming. And I did this a million times. I go through this, whoop, the ball go right through my body, through my little cup right here, hit the ground. Safety no one in me, all I had to do was catch it and go. Hit the ground, I hit the ground after that. And then I lay on the ground like a little hoe and get the waddling on the ground like a baby. And I'm like, oh my God. And everybody just laughing in the stands, like, oh. And you can feel it, I, I can feel it. They took me out of the game, <laughs> which they should have, shit. I mean, I just dropped a wide open pass and 
pouted like a little kid. But the good thing about it, y'all, it get worse. So I didn't get back in the rest of that game, did not play any more varsity for us today, yeah. And I struggled on JV because I just felt like it was just, it was so, in my head, I was so wired up and wanting that to happen that I couldn't calm down and just enjoy something I like to do for what it is. I made all this pressure on it. But anyhow, it got worse. So, <laughs> probably like, I wanna say next week, cause we play on Friday nights. Someone, I had an English teacher. Someone threw my English teacher a pen. She said, hey, can you throw me that marker, a pen, whatever. Some, they threw something at her And she dropped it. And I went in the class, but it got back to me. The school went number yay big. She dropped the, uh, dropped the pen. <laughs> and then she came back and she said, oh, I guess I know how Tony Derrico feel. And when I tell y'all that whole daggone class was just hee hee ha ha cackling and all that. And it got back to me, bro. And that was a running joke for like a whole year, bro. Like, I, I still, I just, I'm just not forgiving that lady right now for that shit. <laughs> it's funny low key, but. But the point I'm trying to make with y'all is that don't mean, that year was hell for me, right? Like I just feel like I was, yeah, I was depressed, all this, that, this, that, and the third. But one thing about it, y'all, you can get better at something. I continue to practice, I kept playing, I kept playing JV. And I got to play varsity again. I'll never forget. It was uh, Hopeville. And they called the same play. And I said, bro, if they give me a chance to catch this ball ever again, I'm going to do whatever it takes to catch the ball. So they, same thing, same scenario. They drop back. It was cover three. Quarterback throw it up in there. And I'm running, I'm running, running. And I knew. I said, bro, I'm going to catch this pass. I did everything I can. Just locked the ball in and just fell down with it. And it felt like... A oh, weight was lifted off my back. Like I caught the damn ball, bro, in a varsity game on a road game, and it just I was like, you know, when you finally get something, you like, man, this whole time I was making this more than what it is. And just to give y'all a little hope, uh, this is something I kept all these years. That year, I only had like five catches, but the two of them were for touchdowns. I caught my first touchdown too, and I got this right here, from ACA, Alabama Christian Football. Uh, Tony Derrico, most improved offense, 2009. Now, with that being said, bro, the point I'm trying to make is that was my junior year, yeah. So, bro, from all that time to like now, like I just, it just was so, it just looking back on, you just see like, man, it wasn't that difficult. I just, it's okay to fail. You gonna get picked on, you gonna get shit gonna happen. Like it, it's part of who, whatever you is, bro. But should you let that shit happen, man, and keep grinding, don't let it stop you. Cause that next year I won this award. The year after that, I had seven touchdowns, led the whole team in receiving. Like, it was just easy, but like the game slowed down. When I noticed that I wasn't worried about, like I knew that I could do it, shit slowed down. I just felt like I was out there having fun. I was cocky, me. The same dude that was on the video last week bitching about not having no help was cocky at one point. And, you know, we supposed to feel like that, y'all. You supposed to be at your highest vibration. You supposed to be, God wants you to be, you know, just confident, man. Nah, you know, then you gotta be arrogant, but be confident. And that's what I wanted to get the message across to y'all today, bro. Like, shit, man. Just cause you fuck up one time don't mean your whole life is fucked. Don't let one mistake, one bad day, or you drop a pass, mean you're gonna drop a pass for the rest of your life. I hope that made some type of sense. It sounded like good when it came into my head, but I don't think I delivered it the way I want to. But yeah, anyway, that's the story for today. Love y'all, boy. Love y'all, fam. Y'all hit that like button if you got something out of the video. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace out.